Write me a 30-second monologue about minimalist overlanding. Perfect. In a world of constant hustle and bustle, there lies a serene escape known as minimalist overlanding. Picture this, a compact yet capable vehicle, pared down essentials, and a thirst for exploration. It's not about fancy gear or extravagant setups, it's about embracing simplicity and finding freedom in the journey. Minimalist overlanding teaches us to detach from the material and connect with nature, fostering a profound appreciation for the raw beauty of our planet. So pack light, leave no trace, and embark on an unforgettable adventure that celebrates the art of simplicity. This is Trail Newbie. Powered by Disciple Off-Road. All right, so uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, my last video did just incredible. Uh, it was called Panament, and I'm really thankful for how it was received by you, the viewers. Um, I got over 45,000 views in the first, you know, three to four weeks, which for me is a big deal. My uh, videos usually range from kind of the one uh, to 10,000 views. And uh, from a perspective of what it meant to me, um, creating content, uh, answering uh, feedback and questions and all of those sorts of things to you, the viewer, uh, it meant a ton. Uh, I do this basically just for fun. And so when a video gets received like that, um, it really makes so much of this worth it. Um, where have I been since that last video? Went to Overland Expo and um, there was so much to see there, so many people to me that I really didn't get a chance to do much filming other than just kind of short clips inside uh, the expo area and stuff like that, which was totally awesome, but I don't have a video that I'm producing for that Overland Expo trip. So what's this video all about? Um, this video, as I've titled uh, The Minimalist, is meant to give you an idea and an overview of my rig setup as to how I keep up with my buddies when we're overlanding or car camping uh, and they've got rooftop tents or trailers or even ground tents for that matter. And, you know, in many cases, a lot of gear, a lot of things uh, there to set up and whatnot. And I'm not throwing hate on that. I'm not throwing shade on that. My closest buddies uh, have rigs that are just outfitted so nicely with uh, eye campers or alu cap, etc. But my rig and where I've been so far in my overlanding journey has been completely contained here within the Jeep. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit of a walkthrough on that. And my hope is that it might inspire you to get out in whatever rig that you have. It doesn't have to be all built up. There's maybe a few things that you need, obviously, you know, to keep uh, food cool, to have a place to sleep, to store water, to have electricity, uh, et cetera. Uh, those are the things that are important to me. And I try to do my rig here 
uh, up in that fashion in a minimalist approach. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, here we go. Let's take you through the rig. All right, so the centerpiece of everything in terms of my setup is pretty much able to be seen right here at the back of my rig. Um, I'm gonna take you through piece by piece and uh, give you some options, give you some alternatives as to how I uh, effectively car camp and sleep in the Jeep and sleep there comfortably. I have a great night's sleep when I do, uh, but also how I set up for cooking, uh, water, electricity, uh, the whole nine yards. So um, kind of the, the cornerstone is these uh, boxes right here. Those are uh, front runner Wolfpack boxes. And uh, I'm gonna take you through a little bit of a different setup. You might've seen it on the channel uh, previously about how I've connected them and uh, added legs so that I can set them up here next to my Jeep if need be. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, pull those out and uh, get those set up. All right, so right here, I have two sets of these uh, legs that I made, one by threes, and these are the legs for the front runner boxes. I'm going to uh, pull that out, set those up, such that I have access to all my kitchen stuff, all my other gear for cooking and everything that I need. So uh, let me put this all together for you. All right, so there you have it. Four front runner boxes on legs. Um, these have also been very well received. There's been uh, some other videos that have been done on it. There was a, uh, uh, what I would consider viral uh, Instagram reel about this by uh, Zachary Deal. So, um, you know, these have turned some heads at the campground as well people wondering you know what the heck this is in this uh box here have some food and just some various items coffee my uh, jet boil is all in there here's cooking just some various things like plastic bags paper towels all of those things uh and then over here i've got uh, you know my jet boil stove and really just anything you need from spices to um, salt and pepper, uh, oil, and those sorts of things for setting up a camp and being able to cook and be comfortable. So I couldn't do my setup without these um, boxes here. I obviously don't have a slide like a decked system or anything like that coming out, but these slide out very easy with just the way that I've put everything together. And it honestly makes everything at camp just right at your fingertips. Also, I'm not bending over, picking up boxes, figuring out you know which one I need to stack on which one to get it up off the ground. Uh, these have actually done, even though they look a little wobbly here, um, they do very well in the wind. I've been in some very high wind situations. The wind just kind of goes right underneath. These probably look just like this and wobble back and forth just like this, um, but they've been very sturdy. Um, a key component to my kind of minimalist overland setup here. So uh, let's move now to uh, my sleep setup, um, deep sleep. Uh, deep sleep is honestly one of the best solutions out there and it is such a price performer. Um, this one's made specifically for Jeep. Let me uh, show it to you right now. All right, here it is, the uh, Deep Sleep Solo Mat. Uh, I obviously don't have my sleeping bag right now, 
but uh, I can tell you I'm six foot four. I sleep on this very comfortably. My feet go kind of right under here. I have some roto packs uh, we'll talk about here in a minute on water storage, but this deep sleep is incredible. So I am uh, six foot four and uh, my feet pretty much touch the bottom down there. I have a uh, uh, Outback Adventures trail gator table and my feet kind of brush that. Um, I don't have the seat pushed forward here, but typically when I'm sleeping, the uh, front passenger seat is pushed all the way forward and leaned forward uh, to give me the most room possible. So can't recommend uh, this deep sleep enough. All right, so we've talked about the bed. We've talked about uh, storage for gear and kitchen and all of that. Uh, let's talk about probably one of the most important things, which is water storage. Um, here I have two rotopacks, two gallons each, uh, attached up under my uh, Vector Highland shelf. And I have a little spout here, but this is not where I'm getting my water from in terms of you know, washing my hands, filling up a, a jet boil uh, for coffee or things like that. Um, I use the uh, Dometic system for that. So this is just bulk storage here. And then I use uh, the Dometic system with the little uh, electric faucet. So let me show that to you uh, right now. I keep just about everything in some sort of protective bag. Mainly, yes, to protect it, but also to keep things from clanking together uh, when I'm on the trail and I hate things that rattle. So uh, what does this system come with? It does not come with the bag. I got that on the Amazon. It comes with this faucet, which I'll show you how we're gonna use here in a second. And it comes with this water tank, ultra high quality from Dometic. It's kind of what you come to expect from them. And this is what I transfer my bulk water from into the water that I'm gonna be using for the day or the, you know, the days that I'm out on the trail. So, it's so easy. All you do, plug in kind of this uh, quick connect right here. Set this down right there. And this is a uh, rechargeable faucet. All you do is do a double tap. And there you go, you can wash up. Uh, you can fill a, a cup of coffee or a cup of water to make your coffee. And then it's just a single tap to uh, turn it off. So really great system. It is ultra high quality, as I mentioned. Um, this is, in my view, a must have uh, for this setup that I've got. All right, let's put this uh, just over here on top of my uh, front runner boxes so we can uh, move on to what I've got next. And next up is when you're out camping, uh, I'm in California, often there's a lot of burn bans. So you do need to have a propane fire solution. Um, that's definitely what uh, I love having, sitting around camp at night, having a good fire uh, there as you're hanging out with your buddies. So my propane solution, as you probably could see from uh, looking right here in the back, is this Ignic. Um, this is, I think, a 10 pound uh, tank. Um, obviously comes in this kind of canvas, high quality cover. Again, I like everything to be covered up, but the whole point of this and Ignic's mission is to get rid of all of those green bottles. You know, not hating on you if you use green bottles, but really think about it just in terms of how many, not just hundreds, hundreds of thousands, but potentially millions of those green cans uh, end up in landfills every single year. This solution is meant to be um, kind of a replacement for that. And I have had nothing but, you know, great experiences with this. All of the connections are in there. You take it down to tractor supply or wherever, they're gonna fill up your propane, fill it up, you're good. You're gonna be good for quite a while. So uh, Ignic tank, can't recommend that enough. Put that back in here. Let me show you what I use for a fire pit. I do have a big round 18 inch Kuma fire pit, but recently I've been downsizing. And uh, this here, this bag I got from 
511 uh, tactical gear. That's not uh, what I'm trying to show you, but if you buy this little fire pit, you're gonna wanna buy this bag from 511. I bought, and they haven't even used it yet, I've used my buddies, the Tactical Fire Pit. This is the small version. It's a uh, obviously little ammo can. Uh, this thing will pump a flame that is literally three or four feet high if you want it to. Uh, it has a regulator uh, inside. It's just an incredible little fire pit. Packs a huge punch. 90 bucks, I bought actually this at Overland Expo. Um, can't wait to use it out on the trail. As you can tell, I still got it wrapped up, um, but this is an excellent solution for a fire pit uh, that has just such a small footprint. So in addition to that smaller tactical ammo can uh, fire pit, I have this, wouldn't you know, it's in another you know bag. This bag is also made by 511 uh, Tactical. I have what matches my propane, and that is the Ignic fire can. Uh, love this, obviously kind of a higher grade, higher quality. These are around 200 bucks. Uh, puts out a great uh, flame. Just, you know, this thing is gonna last forever. You can tell by the quality of care that Ignic puts into their products that this is kind of top shelf uh, from that perspective. So two fire pits uh, that I take with me. Like I said, you know, I don't know that I'll take both of them every single time, but I can tell you uh, these are great solutions when there's a burn ban and when you need uh, something compact. Okay, now let's talk about tools and just miscellaneous items. I found that one of the best ways to bring along things like your deflators and whatnot, um, you know, the little uh, mosquito repellent devices um, fit in here along with their gas and their little cartridges and all of that. Um, some airing up gear, everything from gloves to random things like a beanie, zip ties and so on. You really can't go wrong with the roll up bag style. This keeps so much stuff compacts down and again on the trail it's not going to be rattling and banging against uh, stuff that you've got here in the back of your rig so roll up bag is an absolute must let me set this over here okay now let's talk silverware and all of the uh, cooking utensils that are needed and my favorite brand for this is uh, front runner let me open this up for you. This is an incredible set. Um, I keep the plastic on the knives and forks and everything still just to keep everything nice and clean. But this is, in my opinion, the best set out there. Uh, it's well-priced, totally quality. Everything wraps up nicely here. Again, you see the uh, recurring theme, and that is getting everything back into some sort of soft bag uh, or something to that effect so that again it's not banging around here in the back highly recommend this get this from front runner uh, it's absolutely incredible all right now let's talk storage the absolute best in this case for uh, the jeep jl they also make these for the jk is the xg gamma bags these are incredible high quality they have a bracket that goes around attaches to the roll bar here um, molly panel kind of stuff here on the outside if you want to attach stuff but it really takes this empty space and gives you so much storage um, and the ability to stay organized have that on uh, both sides as you can see and these do fit well with you know what is you know, a, a game changer in the back of a Jeep and that is my vector uh, Highland shelf this comes pre-drilled for um, Rotopax mounts, three of them underneath. This is just another kind of storage Rotopack. And then again, there's my water. This Highland shelf is absolutely incredible to uh, really double your storage space back here. But these Gamma bags are not the only game changers for me. Let me take you around the side and I'm gonna show you a brand new product. This is called the side stasher. This fills up that other area on the front side 
of the rear roll bar there. And this thing, you can pack absolutely full of all kinds of things. I have my window screens there uh, to block out all of the windows for privacy. I also have my Kraken tubes in there. I got a bunch of trail newbie patches. If you find me on the trail, make sure you get one of those. Ultra high quality. This is made by Amazing Life. If you haven't checked out his uh, YouTube channel or Instagram, you've got to go check that out. The uh, side stasher is just incredible. You can load up so much stuff in your Jeep. I have them on both sides, as you can see. Fills up that whole spot right there. Absolutely take a look at those. I'll leave a link in the description for those. Uh, I really believe in the product and think that it is a um, just a game changer and what will help you with your storage in the back of your, in this case, Jeep. All right, now let me uh, take you to my uh, battery solution. I don't have uh, an onboard battery or call it dual battery system or anything like that. All I have is the uh, Anchor 757. Uh, I think they have a new name for it or model number for it or something. I'll try to put that down here in the corner uh, just so you don't get confused. I've always known it as the Anchor 757 Powerhouse. So uh, let's take a look at that here. So I have it set up on my shelf, as you can see, um, turned this direction so that when I am sleeping inside the Jeep, I can plug in my phone, I can charge uh, all my drone batteries and stuff like that. But this Anchor 757, I think it's roughly a 1200 watt hour battery, um, charges my fridge, all of that good stuff. I uh, have not had it plugged in at all on the drive today. And I've been running my fridge, I've been charging drone batteries and everything. And I think I started at maybe, you know, 85 to 90%. And this is just an awesome battery. If you don't have a uh, battery system, highly recommend this anchor. Go check it out. Um, I do have a smaller Jackery for maybe just a one night type of trip. Uh, but usually that stays in my closet at home and this Anchor 757 is what goes on the trips with me. All right, so what was my big purchase at Overland Expo? Uh, I traveled to Overland Expo Pacific Northwest and I did not bring my typical Yeti 35 cooler. Instead, I left it at home knowing that I was gonna buy some fridge. I didn't know what. Um, but some fridge. So I ended up purchasing this Dometic 25, uh, which sounds like a small fridge when you really think about it. But I've been working perfectly fine with a Yeti 35. And when you think about that, how much ice takes up space in there in a Yeti 35, um, you realize that so much space is taken up with ice that you can actually do with a uh, smaller fridge and be good to go. Uh, so far, I've loved it. It cools down super quick. Obviously, it can do freezer or refrigerator. It's not a dual zone. Uh, it's just a single zone. Um, from that perspective, I'm really just, you know, needing refrigerated items, not needing frozen uh, foods at this point in time. This thing is awesome. I love it. Literally just got it sitting here on my folded down seats. It stays put. Um, you're probably wondering, am I gonna put, you know, some protective case around it like I do everything else? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna probably get the Dometic. Uh, it's kind of like a neoprene or whatever cover that goes over it here shortly. So that is my uh, fridge solution. Take a look in there. Still have the instruction manual and some cords in there, but it is a uh, great little fridge. And Dometic, once again, kind of just the top quality. You know, you know what you're gonna get because you often get what you pay for. And I'm not really interested in, you know, buying something and then having issues with it out on the trail. And then ultimately, then having to upgrade to maybe a higher quality uh, piece of equipment. So in everything I do, I'm trying to do high quality equipment, but also keep the footprint down because everything, as you've seen, fits here uh, in my Jeep. All right, so this next item is for lighting at camp. Very compact. Uh, this is the Devos Light Ranger. 
middle of the day here this is not going to be that impactful for you in terms of uh, seeing it set up but uh, let me go ahead and just show you how this uh, sets up so easy legs pop out really wide stance on these legs and then i think this goes up to roughly um nine feet something like that if i'm wrong uh let me know in the comments but the first piece goes up second piece and third all the way up uh not even sure if you can see that let me bring it back here I'm six foot four. I think that's definitely about nine feet up in the air. Gives a really good, like soft light. There's also filters for this that you can do in amber uh, or red. And then I think there's like maybe another kind of yellow uh, one in there as well. But uh, this is the best camp lighting solution that's out there. Check it out, the Devos Light Ranger. All right, so there you have it. That is my minimalist setup. Now, I know there may be some people out there watching saying, that is not minimalist. You've got a fridge, you've got a, a big old battery, you've got you know all kinds of gear and all that sort of stuff. What I mean by minimalist is that everything that I need fits inside my Jeep. I don't have anything on top, nothing's attached, maybe other than my trasheroo, which you want that outside, trust me. Uh, I could get to camp, it could be pouring rain, and I can get out and get in the other side, go to bed if need be. I don't need to get anything out, I can sleep and have all of my gear in the Jeep at the same time. And that was super important to me because I'm not gonna do a rooftop tent, at least I'm not gonna do one anytime soon. Um, from that perspective, if you saw me driving down the freeway, if you saw me in the mall parking lot, uh, you wouldn't know that the whole setup is like a mini camper. It's ready to go, ready to sleep one myself. Again, I'm six foot four, plenty of room in there for me. And so I just love this setup. Um, all my gear, pretty self-contained, clean, packaged, etc. cetera. And um, I, I don't know what I'll do different in the future. If I ever end up doing something like a rooftop tent, um, you'll probably have to come back to this video and comment and say, what happened? You used to be the minimalist and now you've built out your rig uh, more in that true kind of classic overlanding style. So everything I have could fit in a trailer, could fit in a built out rig with a rooftop tent. Instead, it all fits inside my Jeep, which I just love. So I normally say thanks for coming along for the ride. In this case, there was no ride. Uh, kind of an unusual video for me in terms of doing this uh, review of my rig, but I do want to tell you thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone. Click like, comment. I love hearing from uh, all the viewers out there and also share this to someone who uh, might uh, get inspired to get out and do some overlanding of their own in a minimalist rig. Thanks so much.